And we're back. Welcome back to the thing. Welcome back to Rob Runs Through Holes. Whee! Yep. Good time had by all. Except for us. But, um, like I was trying to say... My brother showed me this video of a kid who thought it'd be a brilliant idea to... Oh, oh my God! God! Holy fuck! Oh, kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> that... That was good. That was scary. You died! Retry? Yeah. Sure, why not? Holy shit. <laughs> I did not... Th that, that's one of the dick moves of the game. He will sometimes just randomly appear behind you. But, um... Like, this entire game is luck. Oh, just move your fucking feet. Not on me! <laughs> <laughs> this entire game is pure luck. Jesus fucking Christ. Now, if I can maybe say this without being interrupted by fucking Rob or a monster... <laughs> Or well, the, mon say the monster now? doesn't watch that. I, I, I'm listening to your story. Okay. I'm not being... So my brother showed me this video of a guy who thought it would be a brilliant idea to microwave a glow stick. And at first it was really cool because it was like super bright and super like colorful and shit. And it was really cool at first. Then the dude had the brilliant idea, let's take it out of the microwave. What? The really hot glow stick. Let's take it out of the microwave. And... He does, and he's kind of turning it for some fucking reason, just turning it, and it ends up fucking exploding on him. Oh. And like he says, it gets in his eyes. Now that's terrible, but the part that was funny about it was that his dad comes in, and his dad's like yelling at him, like, I told you not to do this, what the fuck? But for some reason, his dad has this strange emphasis on this kid's shirt. Which is just like a normal, regular shirt. And he's like, you got the stuff all over your awesome shirt. What? Yeah, I'm not even kidding. He, like, he really emphasized it. I mean, your shirt is the greatest thing ever. Like, it doesn't matter if you had probably have like third degree burns. Well, no, he called. He was calling the ambulance. He's like, God damn it. I told you not to do this. You fucking idiot. Now you got it in your eye. You got to take you. You got to call poison control. And you got it all over your awesome shirt. <laughs> like Because he, obviously that's the most important thing. Like he was very upset about the shirt for some reason. <laughs> Hell if I know why. <laughs> it wasn't even that great of a shirt. <laughs> it's just like a regular t-shirt. Uh, All I know is that we're walking through holes, and that's about the game. Man, this is ridiculous. So wait, when you pass out, does that mean you died, or does it just no? Um, basically, you have a chance of waking up like I did, and actually having a second chance at not dying. Oh, but it sometimes will be like you died. Right yeah, I, I mean, basically, you re retain like you know the glow sticks, and you know just. Goodbye. Oh. I just walk away. <laughs> Friendly neighborhood scary man. Scary man. Scary man. Yeah, like makes you shit your pants whenever he can. Yeah, like this is lit literally this is solely based on luck. Like there's, there's no way to really beat this game except unless you get really fucking lucky. As opposed to figuratively based on luck? Yes. Oh, lights. <laughs> Great timing, lights. <laughs> you know your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, it's kind of weird because the lights don't really work like they should in this game. It's kind of weird. Really? A horror game with proper lights? You don't yeah. say. Hello, oh. Harvey Birdman! How are you doing? You just do your thing, man. Just... Are you going to walk to the left? Dude, stop it! I'm going to walk this way past you. It's probably he right behind you. him now. Maybe. For those of you who haven't played this game, the monster, like, will follow you based on noise. So, uh, if you walk, it'll hear you and it'll follow you. If you run, it'll fucking chase you. Is that the case? It yeah, it's, yeah, you. it's based on sound. Yeah, it can't okay. see you. Like, although, after a certain period of time, the game just says fuck it and just throws it into rage mode and he'll just chase you down. Really? Mm -hmm. It depends on how far along you are. Stop teleporting. You're just being a dick now. Stupid <laughs> dick, Birdman. Third man. That's what you are. It's like you go back and he's just there at the intersection again, too. So it's like there's more than one. No, there's only one. He just randomly teleports. I know. I'm just saying, watch it do that to fuck with you. He's like, where would you go now, boy? <laughs> the wolves are moving. Yes, I figured that out. Excellent deduction. Excellent deduction, Ooh, paper. 
Into oh, the that's hole. Always a good thing. <laughs> this game, it seems to be like they actually take you places that you need to go. So, <laughs> mm, so like I, I said, it's all luck. So I don't go to college. You go into holes. They'll take you places. <laughs> One word. Holes. <laughs> A great future in holes. <laughs> That's a graduate reference. Oh no! I'm gonna go back. <laughs> yeah, you just crawl. <laughs> just crawl right back in. <laughs> like, I'm gonna just slowly walk. You back just in. crawl right back in that there, hell boy. Just go back to where you came from. <laughs> uh, Matt, you watched a graduate, right? Yeah, I had to write a paper on it like two weeks ago. What'd you think of it? At first, I didn't think it was that funny. Like I knew it was, I could. I was like, this is a well-made film, but I was like, eh. Mm -hmm. And then I rewatched parts of it, and then we watched something in class, and it was funny. Like, so I was like, what the fuck happened? It wasn't funny the first time, but now it's funny again. Now it's funny. Did you watch oh, oh Jesus son of a bitch! Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch it with the group? <laughs> <laughs> it well? came through the steam. <laughs> Holy like this game is a douchebag. That, that's no. He, he, Mark is right. It is this game is a douchebag. This game is a douchebag. It's a whole fucking oh, lock. Shit. Mark, do you mean Markiplier of the Markiplier Game YouTube channel? Oh my god! It's almost as if we're shamelessly plugging him. Plug, plug, plug. Go click this thing to go to Markiplier's channel. <laughs> click the mustache. Yeah, he'll gain like one subscriber based on this. <laughs> one. <laughs> one of us. <laughs> Remember, every time you subscribe, Markiplier gets another mustache. But, um, yeah, we watched it in class with, uh, it, it, we watched bits and pieces of it in class. And, like, there were parts that I watched at home where I was like, yeah, this is kind of funny, but there was nothing that made me go like, <laughs> Like, for some reason, I can watch something at home by myself and be like, yeah, this is funny. But I won't laugh, but if I'm with people, I'll just be like, ha, 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 ha. Hey, laughing with everyone else. Yeah. It's better to have a laugh track. Do you find it. it weird how, like... No, but, I, like, okay. I'll be the one laughing and no one else will. Huh. No, don't you find it weird how, like, a lot of times that is the case where suddenly, like, it's actually funnier when there's people around to laugh yeah. with? Yeah, that's like why I love watching comedies at movie theaters. Okay, good. It's not just me who thinks that. No, no, it, it, I find it true because like, I don't laugh as hard when I'm alone. Like Guardians of the Galaxies, half their jokes, I probably would not have laughed as nearly as hard. Say what you will, I still want to watch that movie again really yeah, bad. Yeah, me too. Oh, but, oh yeah, but yeah, The Graduate. I, I felt I felt it was really dated. <laughs> oh, look, well, it's, it's a movie from the '60s. Like I really early '70s. I, I was watching it with my mom, and she loves it. I was like watching it, and I felt it's dated. And the main character is really, really annoying. It's <laughs> it's a movie. Made in the late 60s, early 70s, for the 60s. I realize that, and I respect it, but I can't enjoy it on my uh, by myself. Like, I'm not sure if collecting the notes allow you to do go more places, or if it unlocks something, or makes it gives you a better path, or makes things worse. It's supposed to develop the world. No, it doesn't. It just it, it's just stupid paper. Stupid paper. You guys know that the uh, well, you know, like the graduate actually was a very important like. Not just in terms of, like, movie making as an art form, but it was actually a very important movie in terms of, like, keeping cinema and movie theaters alive. Yeah, I know that. Um, I like, think... That's why I respect it. Because in the 50s and 60s, theater... Oh, hey, well, I found the door. Theater attendance was at an all-time low. And even into the 70s, it was at an all-time low. Like, people were not going to the movies because they had less... They had more time off from work to do things. They had TV... So they would go out other places, do other fun things. And now we have the internet. And then they'd stay home and watch. Yeah, but we still go to the theater. Yeah. What caused people to go to the graduate? Uh, well, the thing is, it was a it was a shift in Hollywood's uh, pretty much who they targeted, like target audience, uh, target audiencing. Oh yeah, audience a lot of targeting. movies before that were very. It was just a generic safe. family. Yeah, very. Yeah, safe. It, was, it was a general audience kind of thing. Now they were kind of specifying. So it was made to relate to the young crowd of the 60s, the young, the new majority of people who were going to the movies. Oh yeah, I just remembered, like... Hi, ball man! I just remembered, like, one of the best movies of all time, Citizen Kane, came out in, like, 1947, yeah. and that did shit, because... Oh yes. Yeah. well, that, I, got, I can tell you about that in a minute, but, um... Yeah, it wasn't until the 80s that theater attendance started to be saved because of... Take a, take a guess who saved the movies essentially. Uh, One person essentially. It was it was a, it was what he did. There's a hole behind you. 
No, I know. I'm just sometimes it's easier to ignore it. Okay. Because yeah. sometimes they just don't do anything for you. It's it. This entire game is luck. That's what this game is. Okay, Matt, you were saying. Okay, take take a guess who who it was essentially, and what they did that saved the the that saved theater attendance and the movie theater business essentially. Walt Disney. Nope. Uh, David Finch. Nope. Uh, um, um. Christopher Jesus? Walken. Jesus. <laughs> no, not Jeebus, son of Gob. No. <laughs> Christopher Walken? No. You guys are on the right Rocky track. Rocky Horror Picture Show? No. It was a single person. I have no clue. Steven Spielberg. Really? Steven Spielberg saved the movie industry. Well, I oh, guess him and George Lucas and a bunch of other like directors like Martin Scorsese who are known as movie brats. Mm -hmm. Um well like but it's generally like if you if you're going to give it to one person they usually just say Steven Spielberg because of Jaws, I think it was. Uh, oh yeah. Well, didn't like, people Star people... Wars come around about the run the well, same yeah, time? It was, Jaws was before that. It was, it was like seventy two, I think. It was the advent of the blockbuster, the summer blockbuster. Ooh. The blockbuster movie saved theaters. Huh. And I think they just generally attribute it to Steven Spielberg with, and Jaws because it was like one of the first ones. That got like a lot of acclaim. Yeah, it did. everyone saw it. People were scared. Oh yeah, shit my mom with... saw it, and she was still she was afraid to go in her pool. Yeah. But, um, like, it was an event, like that movie. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say I'm stuck he's in a right, loop. I thought I saw him right in front of me. I think he just, yeah, there, he's right there. But, um... I think I'm stuck in a loop, I don't think I'm beating this. But, um... Yeah, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas and Martin Scorsese and all them saved the movie theater, the theater industry with the advent of the blockbuster. It also helped that home releases were a thing, too, but... Mm. Like, theater, getting people to go to the theater was because of the blockbuster. The theater? The theater. The movie theater. Okay. And it's, it's just been climbing ever since. You know, until one day somebody offers up the idea of just having people watch it at home. Oh, that'll, they'll probably... People look at going to the movies as an event, so yeah. it's not going to decline It's a social that thing. It's a social... Uh, speaking of movie theaters, did you see the fact that AMC is now basically uh, putting up dine-in theaters? Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I really want to go to one of those. The there's one right, by, there's one right by the mall uh, that Where is right live? by my house. And I hear the food's not the best. I know. I've food. heard that too. I never had the food, but it's interesting. Also, it's like more expensive to do those. It is. It's like thirteen bucks. Like, but that's hey, movie hey it's theaters? still cheaper than three D. Uh, <laughs> and it actually has a point. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. You make a very valid point. One of the few. But, um, Thank you, <laughs> Mister Mister Creepy Naked Birdman agrees with you too. But um, movie theaters have always had to try and adapt and change things. Like one of the things they tried before they started doing like uh, demographic movies and like genre films was um, what the hell was it called? I can't even remember what the term was, and I should know. I'm taking a class on this right now. No, that's a genre. They they changed the size of the screens, huh. and the screens kind of like curved around the audience. So and they marketed it as a like as an experience. What do you mean IMAX? To just sitting and watch? No, not IMAX. Like like our standard movie theater screens were like a new thing. I'm guessing think of it like as the screen is like curved around the side. Yeah, a little bit. So people actually had to like turn their heads. Yeah, that sounds interesting. So it was like, it was a way to get the audience more participant in the movie theater or like the, the movie process. But um, they tried all kinds of things and they didn't die. They made it out alive and they still had, they still made enough money, but they were just freaking out because theater attendance kept declining. But they came up with all kinds of stuff. Make good movies. And they made some damn good movies. Make good movies until you get people in the theaters. Well, the thing was, at the time, it's like, people were like, well, th this is also the baby boom generation. True. Yeah. So they're like, well, I have, like, six What's children. Is that a monster? That is a... Is that a mummy? That's the monster. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm stuck in a loop. Like, I, I, I guarantee you I'm not going to beat this like, at all. Try going left? No, there's a wall. See, uh, see the wall? See, Matt, see, see, the, see wall. the wall? See the ball? Go back in the hole. See the ball? Just go back in the hole. See the naked man? I see. You can't just crawl past it. Go, no, you can't. Go, you go can't. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. But, um... It will get you through things. 
And yes, obviously the hole will bring me through a hole that will bring me through things. Quite the logic. Anyway, Matt, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the baby boom generation, they, like, like, well, I have six kids. I can't really go out, you know, should I just save my money and not pay a babysitter so I can right. go out to the movies and stay home and watch TV? Or should I call up freaking Janice down the street, pay her, like, whatever the heck it is, and then pay whatever it is to go see the movie? Like, when I could just stay home and watch TV. Like, it, 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 there was a whole bunch of, like, factors. New new forms of leisure time, wanting to do more active things, you know, all kinds of shenanigans. And then came Nintendo. <laughs> Video games still get a lot of the same flack that movies did when they were first starting. Yeah. Except well, I mean, that was the Atari generation where nobody really knew what the hell they were doing. But the be the thing that makes me happy, though, well, that's like, it, they still do. Hey, look, I hey. found a room. Huzzah. Finally. That took, what, four hours? Fifteen minutes. Should we just keep going or should yeah. we cut this? Uh, let's keep going until, like, Rob. Oh. No, I'm telling you, I'm not going to beat this. There's. Thank you, asshole. God, I thought the monster was right Let's keep going until Rob dies, which should be shortly. Soon. <laughs> Which should be very soon, honestly. Like, I would not... Alright, if you die again after this, we call it quits. No, 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 keep going right. Rob, we're going back in the same place. Uh, whatever. But, um... The, um... Shit, what was I saying? You know, there's one thing I started movie, to notice uh, about movies, this thing, is that the games. game actually directs oh, you places. Yeah, the thing is, though, like, movies... Video games got a lot of the same shit that movies did when they first got made. Yeah. Like, it was about, like, oh, they're corrupting the youth of the nation, need to be censored. But Same then, thing happened with comics. Yeah. yeah. Well, and this, and, comic, and that goddamn rock and roll. Music and movies and comics happen kind of at the same time. Ha yeah. Have you, did you, thing, have you noticed Rob, that every Rob, single time Rob, can I video? Finish, Rob, Rob. please, for the love of fucking Jesus. You mean Jeebus? I'm gonna kick you in the head. <laughs> Jeebus, son of God. Okay, anyway, let me talk. But, like, the thing is, even though, like, people were calling for all the censorship and shit... Uh, and he's after me! Do-do-do! Oh. Even though they were calling for the censorship and stuff, <laughs> they all remembered that, oh, wait, this already happened with the movies and, and comics, so we don't need to do this again. So they didn't do it again, because the, the people in charge were like, we already did this. Remember? I mean, we found it was bullshit, so we'll just raid our games and call it a day. Oh no. This is how we die. More than likely. Like there's like I said, there's no way I'm gonna beat this game. There's, there's been it's, nowhere to turn either. That's yeah, I mean liter literally literally you don't oh! you know what? Kill me! <laughs> Well, that's the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And no Mark, it's not your fault. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Bye. Yay! Oh, Hey, look! Oh, oh, oh. Happy Wrecking Ball. Okay. I came in like a wrecking ball! I will kill you anyway! That doesn't even rhyme. Nope. I don't care because I want to kill him for singing that song. I just said one part. <laughs>